Hi guys, welcome to Simply Scuba. Here we have the Cressy Thor Fin. So as you can see, this is a, uh, a dual material blade. So we have the, uh, the hardened material sort of around the sides and then this softer material down the blade. So that just modifies the shape of the blade during each part of the fin kick. Um, because of these big chunky rails down the sides, that's transferring energy from your foot all the way down towards the tip. And you'll notice we have lots of these kind of fins and ridges, and that helps with tracking. If you try and move a, a sort of flat blade through a, a body of water, it's gonna kind of shudder from side to side. This is gonna help prevent that. It's gonna channel the water and help stop that tracking so the blade moves nice and straight and very smooth through the water, so it's really comfortable. So we have a few little features that help reduce drag. The first one is you can see that there isn't a, uh, on the top at least, there isn't a definitive separation between the blade and the foot pocket. The blade itself actually goes to the top of the foot pocket and that benefits in a couple ways. The first way it helps reduce drag. Um, it reduces this kind of dead zone right in front of the foot pocket. And of course we also have these uh, two little cut throughs. They help reduce um, that dead zone at the front of the foot pocket. But uh, it makes it nice and hydrodynamic and very effective at moving you through the water. The second benefit of having a uh, sort of high blade coming in at the top of the foot pocket is that um, you get this nice angle of attack, so it's much more effective at moving through the water. But when you're moving along uh, like the deck of the boat, trying to get to your um, sort of giant stride entry, it actually makes it a little bit flatter, so a bit easier to move around in. The underside of the foot pocket has uh, these kind of rubberized grip sections, so they're very, very effective, nice and grippy. Um, so yeah, on the wet deck of a boat, you're not gonna be slipping around, trying to get down to your seat. Um, you're actually going to be nicely planted uh, sort of on the ground. So the foot pocket, a decent sized foot pocket on this, um, a decent size, so if you're wearing dry suit boots or whatever, a, a big sort of chunky boot, then it's gonna be that much easier to get your foot in and out of it. And the uh, the bottom section actually goes quite far back, so um, it's gonna leave us sort of nicely sort of on your heel instead of halfway, uh, so you're less likely to get cramp uh, with that. The EBS in the name is the, uh, the bungee heel strap. So with a bungee heel strap, with a single finger, you can get this on and it's gonna automatically adjust to any compression at depth. So you have a really big thumb loop on the, uh, on the heel section of this. So it makes it much easier to get uh, sort of kitted up. Grab hold of that and uh, sort of pull that up and over your heel and then just let go and that's gonna naturally hold your fin onto your foot. Even if your wetsuit or dry suit starts to compress at depth, unlike a uh, traditional like rubber ratchet strap, this is going to actively kind of hold the fin onto your foot. Um, as opposed to a ratchet one that you keep having to tighten. Uh, a very nice little uh, sort of addition to that. So a smart fin, comes in lots of different colors as well. Uh, a pretty tough fin as well. You've got a decent flex on that um, and they're nice and responsive in the water. So you can use this for pretty much any fin kick as well. Uh, a good sort of all rounder. This is the Cressy Thor fin. Thanks for watching, safe diving. We are an online dive store serving the UK and the world for all your diving equipment needs. So why not visit us at simplyscuba.com or click the box on your screen.